Hello world, my name is Tim Russwick, and today I want to show you a game that I made a couple weeks ago for the seven day uh, roguelike game jam thing, uh, and it's called Barn Battles. It's called Barn Battles, and it's pretty much an animal fight club. Uh, Peter's gonna hate me, but uh, what I wanted to do is, like, it was a seven day roguelike, and we're not gonna get into the roguelike versus roguelite and all that, but I, I've been really into tactics games lately, and I, I wanted to make something that was a really refined, like really basic kind of chessboard type of roguelike. And that was the initial initial pitch for the game. It was like, okay, what if we mix chess with Pokemon? <laughs> so that's what we ended up with. Uh, there's a series of different units and stuff. So the way the game works, you've got a chessboard, right? Uh, and you have one unit and they have one unit and you can move. Every unit has its own move types. Uh, so move patterns and then uh, each unit has two actions per turn and then so once I move I can attack the duck and I happen to get a good hit there uh, Now what makes the game really cool though is that later on once you get enough apples uh, You can actually capture units so whatever you see on the board and you can break little boxes too and get get cool stuff uh, whatever you see on the board you can actually capture so remember I said it was like chess meets Pokemon, right? Well, that's kind of where we're going with it um, I'm pretty happy. I mean for this this took me one week. It took me seven days to make um, I did use some assets like some of these uh, these um, Brick assets are Kenny's assets. They're free 2d assets Kenny.nl shout out by the way uh, so, okay, I beat him here. So now I got three apples. So now, um, I can capture stuff. Let them move. So overall, I, I think I'm really happy with this game. So I can actually capture him now. And I capture him and now I control this unit. So this is actually an older version of the game and you can play it for free uh, on HIO, I'll link it down below. You can go ahead and, and play it and give me feedback on it. Um, in the newer version, I made a couple changes. Uh, one is that you have three action points uh, per team, not per character. Right now, every character has two action points, but you have three action points per team. Uh, and then one of the complaints that I got about this game too was that um, really all there is to do is move and melee. And that's, it gets kind of boring. Some people like it. Some people like moving around and having to figure out the different ways around the units and stuff. Uh, but I wanted more unique movesets like push or pull or pierce or sending projectiles or mortars and stuff like that. Um, but after doing this, I'm, uh, I'm actually considering doing making this game into a Steam game, to be honest, because I really, really like this refined tactics. Obviously, it needs a little more... But the whole, there's like three zones and there's different zones, uh, right? Depending on, there's grass zone, there's all this different stuff. Uh, and then there's a boss at the end of each zone, which has a big beefy uh, dude. But everything is capturable, including the bosses. You can capture it all. And then when you actually end up dying, um, when you actually, I'm gonna go ahead and let them kill me. This may be hard for the chicken to do. Because the chicken has a weird attack pattern. Which is another problem, by the way. It's like, this this whole thing is a little weird. So when you actually die, um, you get to pick a character that you captured, or it, it fills in random ones if you didn't if you didn't uh, already uh, capture these. You can pick one, and then you can start with it. So I was thinking for the Steam version, maybe I could uh, just have every character permanently unlockable once you capture them, and then you can start with them on your team. Um, but overall, like, I'm... I'm pretty happy with this game. I, Cypherpunk, for those of you who know my, my current project, my big project, is kind of in a weird spot right now because it's going to take a long time. And it started out as a three-month experimentation project. I wanted to see, like, if you could make a game in three months commercially. You know, I wanted to see that, if that was possible. And turns out, the, you know, I'm susceptible to scope creep just like everyone else is. And, and I think with Cyberpunk, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, and so now we're kind of in this state where the game is bigger than I wanted it to be. I, I'm still happy with it. I still, still think it's fantastic. It's just that uh, things kind of go. So I would love your feedback on this game. 
Uh, if you think that this something like this has commercial potential, I would love to hear from you. If you're a fan of tactics games specifically, I'd love to hear uh, your comments on the game design and stuff like that. Uh, leave a comment down below or join the Discord. We now have a daily uh, discussion channel in our Discord where every day people can discuss the daily videos. So today's topic is going to be my game, I guess. <laughs> it's not a great first topic, but you know, if there's one thing that I've learned is that you don't, you just start before you're ready, right? You just do the thing and make it happen. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, I want to say extra special thank you to these lovely people right here. Uh, they help me keep doing what I'm doing every single day. Uh, if you want your name on this list, you can go down to patreon.com slash game of underground. Uh, if you don't, I understand. Uh, not everybody likes to be on the screen. That's fine. It's not for everybody. Uh, but my name is Tim Rosswick. Thanks for uh, paying attention to this, and I look forward to hearing your comments or your discussion thoughts on both simplicity, strategy design, minimal tactics design, uh, how this game specifically can be improved, but also like minimal strategy games in general. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, be in the comment section. Bye.